Hi guys, it's me Ali and today I will be talking about uh, uh, the most asked question on my channel that is, uh, is are drum breaks good? So I will be sharing all those techniques with you in which through which uh, you can make the most of those drum breaks in your roll and field standard. Now drum breaks are only there in the roll and field standard so uh, and I have the same motorcycle and uh, I haven't modified the brakes. I'm not using disc brakes right now. I'm still using the drum brakes. Through those drum, drum brakes, I've been to the uh, high, highest motorable road in the world, which is there in Ladakh. So, <clears throat> I hope uh, uh, this video is going to be really helpful for you. So, let's go out and uh, I'll share with you how to use it. Okay, so here I am on the road. And I'll just share the tips with you of uh, how to use drum brakes. Now, the most important thing and the first tip I would like to give you is that uh, uh, you have to ride at a speed of uh, from between 40 to 60. That's the best speed. So I'm riding at the speed of 50 right now. And uh, gear shifts and all, you can check that out on my how to maintain Royal Enfield's engine uh, video, you can check that uh, those tips at uh, what speed you have to change the <clears throat> gear and all. So right now uh, I'm riding at the speed of 50 and as you can see I'm maintaining a good distance from all the vehicles. So the car in front of me, there's a good distance between me and that car. So that if there is a, a situation of sudden break, I'll take a left turn actually. So if there's a case of uh, uh, you can say sudden break then I'll have enough time to stop so even this car also if I'm riding behind it like you can see I hope that guy doesn't think that I'm following that guy so I'm riding behind that car and I'm uh, letting the, uh, the distance between me and that car increase so that a good distance is always going to be there between your bike and the car so see I've already stopped so I got so much time to stop because uh, this is the way to uh, ride with the drum brakes and I think this is the way you should even ride when you have disc brakes but with drum brakes you don't have any other choice that's the thing um, so the first thing is that you have to ride between the speed of 40 to 60 and of course at the highway you have to ride you ride even faster, uh, you don't have any other choice on the highway. So, uh, b but uh, even on highway also you have to follow the other tips like the one which I just used with you guys. Uh, I think I should take or you know what, I'll go straight. So even on the highway also what you can do is uh, uh, you can maintain a good distance. So just maintain a good distance from all the vehicles, that's all you have to do if you have to ride safe even with drum brakes. I've taken this bike to the highest motorable road in the world uh, just on these, uh, just by following these basics. I have not done anything fancy, I don't, I still don't have disc brakes and I just follow the basics, ride safe, don't ride fast, uh, I mean this bike is uh, has, I've taken this bike to, to so many trips even on the highway also I make sure I maintain a good distance like that car it just came out of nowhere so there is still a good distance between me and that car and not only the front distance but also when you are riding beside a vehicle you have to maintain a good distance now there's the red light uh, okay that biker didn't stop so okay now it's green so I'm maintaining a good distance from this truck but uh, when you have uh, when you have drum brakes you don't even have any other choice if you think you cannot do these basics you should just add go on to the uh, disc brakes that's all I say so make sure you ride between the speed of 40 to 60 and you maintain a good distance only then you will have uh, then you will be able to uh, uh, have, a, in a, have enough time to stop I always say that if you 
if you don't have control on yourself if you're riding too fast and you can't resist riding fast then that means you don't have enough control on yourself again i'll give you a small demonstration of how to maintain a distance now there's a truck in front of me and i'm maintaining a good distance right of course if that truck is riding at the speed of 35 so i won't be I won't, be, oh, I won't be riding at the same speed, so now I can overtake. That's the technique you have to follow. And look, look where I'm riding. I'm riding at the left hand side or in the middle, but I'm not riding at the, at the right hand side because right lane is always the fast lane and I'm not a fast rider. Only when there's a case of, uh, see, now, you got that example? That, cam, uh, that car came out of nowhere, no horn. Uh, he, that guy didn't even see if there's a bike coming or a car coming so because of the reason I was maintaining a good a good speed I got a time to stop I got enough time to uh, stop that's what I'm doing this is how now look at that pedestrian the mistake which he has done uh, he should have he, I mean there was still a distance so I won't say he did it he didn't wait but he knew that the bike in front of me in in front of him is coming at a slow speed so what he did was that he didn't wait for me he just crossed the road so that's what they do uh, i mean this road is full of all the riders i'm just taking a circle i've just taken one circle actually without any intention so that's it i mean look at this rickshaw guy look at that I'm, I'm maintaining a good distance, that all, uh, that's all I have to say. You just maintain a good distance. I'll take it straight now or just to the right. Apologies, I I crossed the zebra crossing. When you are waiting at the red light, you have to stop behind the zebra crossing. That was my fault. Uh, so even okay, let's take the example of this Omni van. I'm maintaining a fine distance and I'm riding at the speed of 40 or something. So look, guys, if you if you want to ride fast, if you want to ride over 60, even at even in city also then you can go for a faster bike don't go for bullet it's a heavy bike with drum brakes uh, and i'm especially talking about the standard so if you if you'd like to ride fast i don't recommend bullet to you you can uh, take some other bike and uh, my uh, i'm just going to end this video with this thing that you have to ride safe you have to uh, take care of your life so don't ride very fast Look at the way I'm maintaining distance, that three-wheeler and me, there's a huge amount of distance. So even if there is a case, situation of sudden break, I'll have enough time, I'll have ages, I'll have ages to stop. So that's what you have to do, that's the, that's the right way to ride a motorcycle or even a car and especially a motorcycle with drum brakes and I'm talking about this bike which is Royal Enfield Bullet Standard. So I hope my demonstration was good for all of you guys it was useful and if you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe the channel uh, and thank you so much for your support i have got 4000 subscribers now and uh, it's all because of you guys don't those who are watching this video for the first time please subscribe and share and like and comment thank you so much now i'll just take a u-turn and go back to home bye bye take care see you